Exercise 14. Shoal Company records prepaid assets and unearned revenues in balance sheet accounts. The following information was used to prepare adjusting entries for the company as of August 31st, the end of the company's fiscal year. We're asked to prepare any necessary reversing entries for the accounting adjustments A through E, assuming that the company uses reversing entries in its accounting system. When a company chooses to use reversing entries, any adjusting entry that increased the balance in an asset or a liability will be reversed. So let's go through and think about what the adjusting entry would have been and then decide whether a reversing entry is appropriate. Letter A, the company has earned $3,700 in unrecorded service fees. This is an accrual. On August 31st, the adjusting entry would have been a debit to accounts receivable and a credit to fees earned. Since this adjustment increases the value of an asset, we will reverse this adjusting entry on September 1st. The reversing entry is a debit to service fees earned and a credit to accounts receivable. Letter B. The expired portion of prepaid insurance is $2,950. The August 31st adjusting entry is a debit to insurance expense and a credit to prepaid insurance. This adjustment reduces the value of an asset. It will not be reversed. Letter C. The company has earned $2,400 of its unearned service fees account balance. The adjusting entry on August 31st is a debit to unearned service fees and a credit to service fees earned. This adjustment decreases the value of a liability. Only adjustments that increase a balance sheet account, an asset or a liability will be reversed. Letter C will not result in a reversing entry. Letter D. Depreciation expense for office equipment is $2,900. The adjusting entry on August 31st is a debit to depreciation expense and a credit to accumulated depreciation. This reduces the value of the assets and is not going to be reversed. Letter E. Employees have earned but have not been paid salaries of $3,000. The August 31st adjusting entry, debit salaries expense, and credit salaries payable increasing the liability as of August 31st. Since this adjustment increased the balance in a balance sheet account, salaries payable, it will be reversed on September 1st. The reversing entry is a debit to salaries payable, $3,000, and a credit to salaries expense.